It's the SoCal No Cal Throwdown. Let's go! The LA Rams at whose house in week two? 1 0 record, feeling like the old man who's about to get tossed on the cart too early. The outside world thought this was going to look like they don't got a clue. Nope. We're not dead yet. It's a toss left to Akers. He'll go in untouched on fourth and goal from the one, and the Rams have a double digit lead. One down, a lot more to go. Nine is out three. One, two, three. Nine. Nine. They get their favorite buddies from the north, the San Francisco 49ers, picked up where they left off last time. They had a QB that didn't look like the Black Knight at the end of the fight. Purdy looking in zone. Let's see, rip it. He's got a touchdown to Brandon Ayu. The Rams are taking on a Brock Purdy who keeps looking like the real deal Holyfield, a rating over 110 on the road at Heinz Field with TJ Watt on his a all game, two TDs, no INTs, 220 yards. Brock Purdy and the 49ers, holy cow, what a start. The Rams, however, offer this as a counter. On the road versus Geno Smith, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, held Smith to 112 yards on 26 tries. That's a Ron Measley 4.3 yards per attempt. Here comes the blitz, up the middle, Geno retreats and throws, bobbled and dropped, incomplete, nearly intercepted. LA allowed a TD to Metcalf, but they held him to 47 yards. No one else even mustered 20 against them. Here comes the blitz. He's flooding to his right. Dirts it incomplete. And the LA defense again do not break. One on one to watch in this game. LA cornerback Darian Kendrick against Brandon Ayuk. Kendrick gave up a TD to Metcalf, but five targets, 10 yards overall. He fires end zone. Broken up. Incomplete. Looking for Lockett. Darion Kendrick locked him up. Ayuk, on the other hand, eight catches, almost 130 yards, two scores, star in the making. Ayuk! Ayuk! Ayuk is really on what a catch! Purdy's other pass catchers, the usual suspects. Debo wasn't in that flick, though. Samuel, five catches, 55 yards in week one. Debo in cut, and he just went over the middle ten and plucked that ball with two powerful hands. CMC is a threat, but he didn't do much receiving last week, and neither did George Kittle. Now flushed out, throws the Kittle right flat, and he's going to be surrounded by three Steelers. George Kittle with just 19 yards, which is why I tried to tell people about Greg. For all the Greg Kittle naysayers, don't come hopping on the bandwagon later, okay? Hey, Kittle, Kittle! Can LA's pass rush get to Purdy? San Francisco gave up three sacks, all to TJ Watt on the right side. Brock Purdy really sharp today. Pressure from behind and sacked. And look, the ball came out. It was Watt that got there again. And he's got the ball. Colton McKivitz, San Francisco's right tackle. This week, he draws LA outside linebacker Michael Hoyt, half a sack last week. Pocket crumbling, now it's Aaron's turn with help from Michael Hoyt. Back-to-back -back sacks from the LA defense. LA's elite pass rusher is a DT, of course. Aaron Donald had a half sack as well. Rams pressuring Smith over 30% of the time, solid stuff. Geno Smith back to pass, pressure in his face. They get there, the rookie got him, Kobe Turner. One thing LA did not handle well versus Seattle was Kenneth Walker, gave up over five a run to him, just didn't face many runs. They will face plenty this week. McCaffrey is coming. He laid down over 150 yards on almost seven yards of carry, and he scored. Trying to do something here with Christian McCaffrey. Got a bruising block from Brandon Ayuk. Got another from Ray Ray McLeod. Turned it into a touchdown. It's a 65-yard lightning strike for McCaffrey. Run game less of a talking point when L.A. has the ball. Their offensive efficiency in Seattle sparked by Matthew Stafford's arm. Watch when Stafford releases this ball because Bobby Wagner is still moving backwards, and here comes the in route. Oh, in that beautiful window. Matthew was outstanding, and, and I thought the offensive line protected really well. And their O-line. Stafford's line deserves a ton of credit. The Rams' big ugly sparkled versus the Seahawks, not allowing a sack, only two QB hits on 38 pass attempts. Sets his feet, launches over the top, left side, Higby at the 30, dragged down at the 23-yard line. If they can give Stafford that much time again, maybe he goes for over 330 yards again. San Francisco secondary taking on wide receiver Tutu Atwell. I'm not surprised. You know, that's what Tutu Atwell had been doing 
going months back. He comes in off a 119-yard day. On third down. Oh, oh, fits it over the middle to Tutu oh. Atwell. And so does rookie wide receiver Puka Nakua. Puka Nakua, what a grown man he was today. 119 yards for him, too, last week. Stafford's not hip with the kids? That's so cringe. Stafford, the backside pressure, has to get rid of it. Into traffic, and Nakua wow. with the catch and the toe tap. You at the 47. Me? Are you kidding me, Rook? It's also cap, right? The pass rush LA faced last week, akin to a sparring partner compared to what they are going to face this week. Armstead will flux him out to his left. Now he dodges around. Oh, but Drake yes! Jackson will get him back on the 20 yard line. Bang, baby! San Francisco's front is Barney Gumble loaded. Defensive end Drake Jackson had three sacks. Defensive tackle Javon Hargrave had one. Team had five total, a pressure rate over 45. Five. That's rerun territory. It is Pickett out of a shotgun. And he's oh, gets Kinlaw, yes! Again. Hargrave and Kinlaw got there. The Grave Digger! Hey man, he was big, but he could dance with the best of them. All that and Nick Bosa didn't bag anyone. In turn, Stafford is tangling with a defense that held Kenny Pickett to a sub-70 rate. Picketed him twice. Clean pocket here. Tipped in picks. Tipped by Warner. Picked by Hufunga. One pull ball. Rams' run game wasn't super efficient in week one. Relevant in the red zone, though, three touchdowns. Second of all, the seven. Williams slowing oh, inside, did. and Kyron Williams with his second touchdown of the day. A lot of folks thought this was setting up to be a northern invasion of SoFi, but LA fans have motivation now. Hopefully, you're motivated to drop a prediction into the comment section. Panel of 10 time and Gray Kittle for life.